All right, Jim, our next question sent to Corny's Drive Through at gmail.com from David Robertson Joliet. Excuse me, from David Robertson in Joliet, Illinois. He just has a. Oh, one. I thought his full name was David Robertson Joliet. So did I, the way he wrote it here. Jim, since you were always known as a rich mama's boy, I was wondering if any conniving gold diggers ever tried to weasel you out of your money, <laughs> thinking you would be an easy target. Any stories of gold diggers in pro wrestling would be interesting if you have any. Oh my gosh, I have had probably hundreds of gold diggers weasel me out of 100 to 150 bucks at a time periodically over my life. <laughs> but no, I, no. I mean, it, number one, I would have had to have had time, as Thunderbolt Patterson said, if we only had time. I have been lucky that I have had. Since I was, uh, let's see, hold on, let me go back and do math. In the last, what well, my adult life, in the last 37 or 8 years, let's say, since I turned 21, I've had basically three long-term relationships and a variety of friends and neighbors. Uh, but nothing <laughs> was ever... What what's what are you laughing? A I'm, variety I'm a friendly, of friends and neighbors. I'm a friendly person. <laughs> I like to associate with people, but nothing ever got in any way serious enough that there was the thought of money uh, changing hands or somebody trying to uh, set themselves up. Except for the the people that we got into our situation with, that everybody knew what was happening ahead of time. So so no, I've I've. Uh, Fortunately, stayed away from the the painted floozies that would try to take me for my millions and millions of dollars. Well, if I could ask you a question about these floozies that you mentioned. Now, there were maybe a few of these floozies that I led to believe I had quite a bit of money on hand. And they might have been wondering where I went to by the next day, but I never promised any of them I was going to give any of it to them. When wrestling got real big on cable TV, especially as the 80s went on, and wrestling became a big thing culturally, although a lot of that was WWE, obviously Crockett Promotions had some major years like 86. Yeah. Was there ever a change in the kind of women that were showing up to the hotels to be around the wrestlers? Once you see these guys on TV and start thinking they have lots of money, did you see a different caliber of woman start approaching wrestlers, or was it always the same? Well, what are you trying to be sexist and act like, oh, so the real pretty ones come out now or whatever? Um, yeah, that's kind of what I was saying. No, it didn't depend on the, it didn't depend on the period of wrestling or how hot it was. It, a lot of times it depended on the town and or the territory. Some territories had, you know, Florida was noted for incredible, you know, female fans. And so were the Carolinas because so many of those guys did have money and did like to go out and take you know, there are people that were with them around in limousines and things. Or sometimes it could be that, you know, it was just, you had a shitty town in a particular territory where everybody, male, female, and animal, vegetable, and mineral was as ugly as a mud fence. Um, or, you know, whatever the case. So it, no, it, it didn't really, there were just more, there were more people, but it was the same type of cross-section it was just amplified when business got hot or a territory was doing big business or things in the 80s all the publicity on television it was just more of everybody good bad and indifferent 